Welcome back everyone. I'm going to do set theory. I'll be starting off by talking about the different types of numbers. So we have the real number system that comprises of natural numbers. We have whole numbers, we have integers, we have rational, we have irrational numbers. Now for natural numbers, the question is, what are natural numbers? I'm hoping you're seeing these are numbers that we start from one. So persons will say, oh, it's counting numbers. So natural numbers, we start from one. So we have one, two, three, and it continues. Let's think of another type of number. We have whole numbers. So if I ask you, what are whole numbers? I'm hoping you're seeing these are numbers that starts from zero. So it's zero, one, two, three, four. So if you realize whole numbers contain natural numbers. So whole numbers contain natural numbers and we start from zero for whole numbers. Let's think of another number. We have integers. Now, integers. Do we know what are integers? So integers are negative and positive numbers. So we have negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and we have the positive numbers which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, going on to positive infinity. Integers are negative and positive numbers including 0. Now the next number, rational numbers, and if I ask, what are rational numbers? I'm hoping you're seeing these are numbers that can be expressed as a fraction. So rational numbers, if I ask for an example, 3 is considered to be rational because 3 over 1. We also have a half, which is rational. 0 0.3, which is a decimal, but a finite amount of numbers. So 3 over 10 is the same thing as 0 0.3. 0 is rational because 0 is the same thing as 0 over any number. So 0 over 1. We also have 1 third, which is 0 0.03333. So these recurring numbers, they can be a fraction. So 0 0.66666 continuing is 2 over 3. Irrational numbers, these are numbers that cannot be expressed as a fraction. So when you think of irrational numbers, you have to think of numbers that will never be a fraction. So we have the square root of 3, we have e, we have pi. e has a value, pi has a value, but they're considered to be irrational. Now, we're going to look at an activity where I have the following numbers listed in the set. And uh, before we start the activity, I will be writing the symbol for natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers. So, natural numbers have a symbol. The symbol is N. Whole numbers is W, integers is Z, rational is Q, and irrational is Q prime. Now going about listing the set of natural numbers from this set, we would have the number 2 and nothing more because natural numbers starts from 1. So only the number 2 is considered to be natural numbers. If we talk about integers, that's different, negative and positive numbers. So the obvious one is 2 and negative 3. But if you also look, we have negative 4 over 2. It's the same thing as negative 2. So it is considered to be an integer. Next. If we have rational numbers, these are numbers that can be expressed as a fraction. So it will be everything except pi and e. So once it can be a fraction, 
then we say rational. For irrational numbers, these are numbers that cannot be expressed as a fraction, so that would be pi and e. For the next activity, we're going to state the number of elements in the set. This is a set builder where it says x is such that x is an element of natural numbers. So we're looking for natural numbers. And the next part gives us the range in which the natural number lies. So this is saying x is greater than or equal to negative 4, but less than or equal to 3. So our focus is on the natural numbers. Natural numbers starts from 1. So we need to start from 1. Given that it says equal to 3, that means we stop at 3. So that tells me I have 3 elements. Now I'm going to write another set builder and we are going to discuss how many elements is in this set. So x is an element of integers. So for integers, we are going to look for all the integers in this range that is written in the set builder. x greater than negative 3 but less than 2. That's where we're going to find the set of integers. Now we won't use negative 3 because it didn't say equal to and we're not going to use 2 because it didn't say equal to. So because of that, that's why we have four elements. Now, the next set builder that I have here, we are going to look for rational numbers. So, we look where x is an element of q, that tells me the type of number I'm going to look for. But this one is different, where we don't have a range, but we have to solve for x. And then from here, solving for x in the equation, we are going to find out how many rational numbers do we have. So we have x squared minus 5. We're going to equate it to be equal to 0. So the next one is x plus 4. Equate that to be equal to 0. So turn over the minus 5. So we have x squared equal 5. Then square root, and of these square roots, square root cancel the square, so x equals plus or minus root 5. For 4, we care about a 4, so x equals negative 4. Now from this, we need to determine what are the rational numbers. We have positive root 5, we have negative root 5, and we have negative 4. So the question is, which are, are rational? But the only negative 4 is rational, so therefore we only have one element. Now we're going to express the following as interval notation. So in the set builder, our focus is on writing in terms of square bracket meaning close and a round bracket mean open now our focus is on the inequality that's going to become a set interval notation so you see i have the 5 and the 30 because it's not equal to at 5 we have an unshaded circle and a shaded circle at 5 because of the equal to and connect now doing this we can easily draw the bracket it's open at 5 and at 30 it's going to be closed because of the shaded bracket shaded circle so we have a square bracket let's look at another one so if i have this where it says x is less than 30 so at 30 we're going to have an unshaded circle because it didn't say equal to and because it's less than we have to go to the left which is a negative side and from there, because minus infinity is not a number, we have it being open at negative infinity. And then 30 would be round bracket because it's not shaded.
So if I have a set builder, X is such that X is an element of R, where I have X is greater than or equal to C5. Writing this as an interval notation, I will have my number line. And we do the number line if we're in doubt. So we have at five, it will be closed. And because this opening is on the X, that means it's saying greater than. So it means I'll be going to the side where we have positive infinity because they're getting larger and larger and larger. So it's closed at five and open at infinity. So here we have our interval notation. Now, if we're going to do the reverse, which is going from interval notation to set build up. So if I have five and 10, first thing I will start off by saying X is such that X is an element of real number. And because this is a range where X is between five and 10 based on this, I will know that because of the square bracket, it's gonna be X is greater than or equal to five, but because of the round bracket, it's going to be less than 10. So if I have round bracket three and a round bracket 12, then here I will have X is such that X is an element of a real number where X is greater than three because there is no equal to. So let me just rewrite this. So X is greater than three and it's going to be strictly less than 12. Please note, we're never going to have it looking like this. So X is greater than that and X is greater than no. And we are not going to have it as to see X is less than five, but greater than 10. That's not all right. It. Now, if we have one number, so if I have say 30, and positive infinity. Now, first of all, we are going to have our set builders X is such that X is an element of real number. And then we'll have X is greater than or equal to 30 because we want numbers larger than 30, but also including 30. Realize a square bracket. So that's why I have equal to and positive infinity. So I want numbers larger. If I had it the other way, let's use 30, but round bracket, then it means I need less than. So the set build have X is such that X is an element of real number. And then here we'll have X is less than 30 because we want numbers smaller than 30. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.